right here in the Republican And I'm also a Constitutional Committee uh, okay. right chairman. Okay. Uh, and we, we, we host it. We have Craig Eddy from the time. Right, right, right. And I wanted to ask you about something that was told to me. Donna claimed that no, you didn't really say nullification is racist. You said no. it's, uh, it's, 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 it's conceived as being racist. Your no, I never said how, that it was, how it was you, racist. How I, I, I just said that in the African American community, as it relates to slavery in the 1800s, the nullification, that whole process uh, has a negative connotation. I didn't say it was racist. I didn't say, and I didn't say I don't believe that we, we need to repeal Obamacare. I support the governor. I support the. I, I was just saying a word. Well, you know, and the majority said they want to keep the word, and I'm fine with that. The, the effort, I was hearing the uh, senator, we all agree that we don't want to participate in the change. We would love to have Obamacare repealed at the federal, and we want the state not to participate, and I support that too. And so it was just one word, and I think we, yeah, folks spent too much in that. Can I point out, can I point yeah, out yeah. nullification actually was used by Warren to nullify the Fugitive Slave Act. Right. The South didn't use nullification, the North did. And so nullification has, through history, received a, a, a wrongful connotation right. because nullification was actually right. used to say slavery is immoral and we're not going to obey the future of Congress okay. passing the future of slavery. Right. And what we need to do is teach this in our schools. Right. I mean, that's the true history. Oh, I, I agree. And I, I agree. understand, it's like the, the Confederate flag. That's well, it's like the history of our party. Yeah. That, you know, most African Americans don't understand how the party was formed. It was really like you say. It was formed abolitioners, and most prior to Reconstruction, Republicans were African American, and even in our state. And, and I think that's the part we've got to educate. And that, that's, so that's, we just have to do. What word would you use under the nullification? I think you would support our efforts. Oh, yeah, South I do support. The, the I support that. The question I was just asking the senator a few moments ago is abortion being a big right. issue. And right. the state of South Carolina is right. strongly for life. Yeah. Abortion should be nullified. State that there should be no abortion law that we would follow that comes to us from the federal government. The federal government I agree. Because that, but I believe like you, it's a state issue, not a federal issue. And I serve on the federal pregnancy center board. So I definitely agree that that's a state issue. So, uh, for me, you know, I just think the right to education, I was saying to our committee back then, whatever it was, it's just the word. Everything else, I agree with. But, but that's okay. The, you know, our legislators, I think everyone decided to just move forward with the nullification bill, and I'm fully behind that. And I was just trying to make, make, uh, do some education. That's all. I understand. Yeah, well, thank you for talking to me. Yeah. Thank you, man. I hope you'll continue supporting these efforts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 definitely. Uh, definitely. When we have more of Congress of uh, members of the General Assembly, especially now in the Senate, uh, right. who would oppose it as a Republican, we need to educate. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. This is a Tenth Amendment issue. Right. Federal government, we, we are not uh, served to the federal government. Oh, definitely. Yeah. definitely. And I think we need to assert our Tenth Amendment rights more.